fish trap was a big framework of logs cabled together to make kind of a trap, a V, v shape, anchored out on big cables to hold them in place. Nearly all of them are owned from people out of Alaska, and there wasn't much fish got by them. They were too efficient, it was a thing, and they kind of decimated the stocks. Things were getting pretty slim pickings around here. When it became a state, the people voted on it, said we don't want no more fish trap. Runs were very low through mismanagement. Basically, they were building up from the old fish trap days, and, and there was hardly any salmon left. The 70s was pretty much a disaster for the fishermen. They had uh, just, I mean, they were pretty much tied up to the dock. In about 1973, there were some commercial fishermen who got together and realized that the wild was not sustaining them consistently. And I think they got together and said, we, got, we need something that's gonna even out these good years and these bad years. So we formed this organization called SARA, where we put our 3% into this fund that helps those hatcheries and got them started to benefit everybody. So they got together and they agreed to tax themselves 3% of their gross fish sales. They had no idea if it was gonna work. No clue whether this thing was even gonna get off the ground. It's just gonna be like, you know, trying to build a ski resort in Florida or what. A hatchery is a facility that augments the uh, number of salmon that swim through the fisheries. We're about nine miles south of Ketchikan. This facility is the Whitman Lake Hatchery. Initially, we had to go into the wild and, and collect eggs. The fish return here, and we remove the eggs and the sperm from the adult fish returning and incubate the eggs here before they're released. I mean, 99.9% .9 of, of that fish's growth is wild. This system has been really very successful. It's kind of been, you know, one of the backbones of the, of the whole Sarah program. Salmon culture has always been my passion, and it's just uh, given me a, a chance to make a living doing something I really like. We deal with millions of fish, so it's, it, you know, it's not really a first name basis, but you want them to be as happy as you can. It's really kind of funny because everybody has a wrong idea about commercial fishermen. They all want to rape and pillage. That's not true. That's not true at all. They want to do it next year, and they want their kids to do it. They want to pass it down. You know, they want to make sure that it's still around. And it's worked out real well. The whole industry, the whole fishing industry has benefited from our hatchery fish. And uh, those fishermen down there will flat out tell you, we wouldn't be fishing down here if it wasn't for that release site. 